what a lovely old place. And what an appropriate name, Shady Rest. <laughs> you don't know how appropriate. <laughs> <clears throat> I thought he might like to know I brought him a paying guest. Paying guest. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to the Shady Rest. I'm Joseph P. Carson, the general manager. The sign here. What an adorable desk clerk. Thank you, man. <laughs> oh, him. Late as usual, huh? You're supposed to warn me when guests arrive. Where were you, sleeping on the job again? <laughs> I can't imagine being met by anyone nicer. Gee, Janet Craig, M.D. Oh, you're from Maryland. <laughs> Try again, Joe. M.D.? North Dakota? <laughs> no, M.D. is right. It just doesn't stand for Maryland. Well, the only thing I can figure out for M.D. is... You're kidding. How do you do, Mr. Carson? How do you do, ma'am? Doctor. Yeah. Well, Uncle Joe, we won't be gone long. We're going to go over to the high school for a little tennis. Actually, we're firming up our figures for when that new young doctor arrives. Well, you can stop firming. <laughs> Billy Joe and Bobby Joe, this is Dr. Janet Craig. A woman doctor? There ain't nothing sacred anymore. <laughs> How do you do? I do hope I'm not too much of a shock to you. No, I think it's wonderful. Oh, me too. Uh, we were almost in the same profession. Oh? Yes, last year, Bobby Joe was going to perform heart transplants. But now, unless I'm mistaken, she's decided to be a, 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 a famous novelist or a foreign correspondent. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> do you play tennis, Dr. Craig? Yes, I love it. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, maybe we might have a game after I'm all settled in. Hey, that'd be great. Well, see you later. Bye. Bye-bye, well, girls. <laughs> <clears throat> Would you show Dr. Craig to her room? Oh, yes, ma'am. Room number seven. <laughs> See you later, Doctor. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Stewart. I go along with you, Joe. This valley is no place for a woman doctor. Why not? Huh? I said, why not? Well, maybe you haven't been following the discussion. I said this valley is no place for a woman doctor. I know, and I said, why not? Joe, did you hear that? Yeah, I heard you. Well, tell him why not. Steve, you can't be serious. I am serious. Why is this valley no place for a woman doctor? Oh, brother. OK, I'll give you a for instance. Say you're lying there on your deathbed. Got the picture? Deathbed, got it. <laughs> call Dr. Stewart. He comes running. Now you call this Dr. Janet Craig, and you'll get a recording saying, Sorry, she's at the beauty parlor getting a permanent. <laughs> That's good, Joe. Well, does that answer your why not? No. Oh, brother. Every day I get one like this in the chair. Whether it's on the missile race, the gold crisis, or foreign aid. Look, I'm sorry, but I just don't go along with your reasoning. Now, if a woman is capable, why shouldn't she be a doctor? Look, Steve. A doctor is somebody you should be able to confide in. Now, you tell Doc Stewart something, it never gets out of his office. You tell that to a woman doctor, and she'd have it on a party line before you got your prescription filled. <laughs> You're hot today, Joe. What do you say to that? Easy on the sideburns. <laughs> I'm completely against having a woman doctor in the valley. My Elroy is subject to styes. And just the thought of another woman looking into his baby blue eyes is just more than I can bear. <laughs> now, Evelyn, we can understand your position completely. Oh, Doris. Well, uh, going to a woman doctor would frighten me. Now, you take the operation I had last year. Uh, I think I've mentioned it before. Yes, Doris. Every club meeting. <laughs> yes. Well, I never would have pulled through if it wasn't for the comfort I got from Doc Stewart. When I put my hand trustingly in his, it gave me courage. The very thought makes me tingle all over. <laughs> yes. And Doris, uh, you feel that with a woman doctor, you would not have had that same trust. Or the tingle. <laughs> well, thank you, Doris. Excuse me, ladies, but personally, I think all of you are being very unfair. What? And I agree with her. We've met Dr. Janet Craig, and she seems to be a very fine person. She's charming and lovely 
And pretty. Uh, yes, yeah. mm -hmm. we know. <laughs> that didn't help a bit. Well, what I mean is, uh, she's probably a, a pretty good doctor, too. <laughs> Girls, it is not difficult for us to understand your attitudes. After all, you are single. N not all of us. Betty Jo's married. Oh, that's right. Betty Jo, how would you feel about your Steve going to Dr. Craig? <laughs> well, uh, I really haven't given it very much thought. Maybe you should. Just picture the good Dr. Craig holding Steve's hand while she takes his pulse. <laughs> or thumping his chest while she looks for heaven knows what. <laughs> that wouldn't bother you, would it, Betty Jo? Uh, no, not really. I don't think it would. Uh, see there, it just goes to show that the rest of you aren't being very objective. And I think all of you should give the matter some more thought. Well, we give it enough thought. That's right. They should. Don't What happened? Oh, I must have sprained it helping Wendell unload a drill of insecticides. Oh, well, we can't take any chances. Heavens, no. Better go right in and see that nice dude, Dr. Craig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe I should. Oh, honey, I can take care of it. Yeah, honey, but a doctor could oh, tell uh, let's go it. in the kitchen and soak your arm in some hot water. But, honey, I... uh, Wiggle your fingers. Uh, go on, wiggle. Wiggle my fingers? Yeah, wiggle them. You see, they wiggle. <laughs> they wiggle real good. There's nothing wrong. Nothing's broken. Yeah, honey, but this will play a safe name. Darling, should... uh, let's go in the kitchen and soak your arm in some hot water. <laughs> Everything will be just fine. That's a good boy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Now, let's see, ladies. That is one, two, three, a uh, four. <laughs> That's four to two in favor of boycotting Dr. Janet Craig. <laughs> <laughs>